Watchmen movie action figure. They call them action figures. Hey guys, Shardimus Prime here doing a toy review on my Watchmen figure setup. And this is not it. But this is what the box looks like full of Watchmen. Um, I put the empty boxes in here so you know they come in sets of four. I uh, just bought three. the comic book guy from Coastside, which is my local comic book store, he sold me three of them. He got me a deal, so 14 bucks each. The other three I bought at the 2009 WonderCon for 20 bucks a piece. That wasn't the best of deals, but here's what the boxes look like. This is the uh, Dr. Manhattan variant. Bought him for 20 bucks, like the other two that I got that day. The box is very nice. I'd actually like to put them back in their boxes and hang them up. I've even kept the twisty ties in there. They have a very uh, smooth matte finish. And then the... Uh, God, I don't know why it's so blurry. I'm really sorry. There we go. Smooth matte finish. And the writing is this nice gloss. I like it a lot. This is the Series 2. I opened... Uh, I have the Comedian opened over here. Um, yeah, this box I have right here is from Series 1. And here's the Comedian's box. Open it up. Now, not all of them, but some of them have a clear box right here without any plastic glued to it, okay? Uh, eventually, I think I'd want to open up two of them and then put them on the wall and have the Watchmen set up in front of that. I think that would be a pretty cool setup. Eventually, I'm going to do that, but right now, I just have them on my dresser. And, okay, get to the figures, right? Um, yeah, have a then there are my Watchmen. Blurry as hell for no one to see. Come on, man. Okay, well, that's really cool. You get to see my hand, and maybe it's not as blurry anymore. Let's try to get closer here to Rorschach. There's Rorschach. Very nice figure. When I bought him, there was like four Rorschachs to pick from, so I picked the one with the cleanest Rorschach test on his face. And, uh, yeah, just one little complaint about the movie. Actually, I really like the movie, by the way. I don't want to talk a whole lot about the movie. Uh, just in case people haven't seen it. i just not sure exactly how non-Watchmen readers are going to like the Watchmen movie. Um, my brother never read it. He said he liked it. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, um, this Rorschach figure, um, going back to the figures now, he's not very posable. And I knew that going into it. Uh, the term action figure is really, you know... Is, is, is totally inaccurate. It's not an action figure. It's a collector action figure. I just, I like to call them st uh, posable statues. Because they can't, because they're slightly posable. The arm, the wrist moves. You could take out Rorschach's uh, hand right there and replace it with a fist. Comes with that gun. His elbow has a joint. His shoulder has a joint. His head moves a little bit, but it's always tilting. So it's not that posable. The feet are, or the legs are glued on into the under part of the trench coat. And I knew that going in. I saw um, Century Productions' review of Rorschach, and I'm really glad I watched his video. I'm really glad he put the video out there. So thanks for doing that, dude. Good review. Um, and it, it really opened my eyes to let me know how I was going to enjoy the figure. I like how this these come out a little bit. It's pretty cool. Um, I really like the fucking figure. I'm sorry. I'm I'm videotaping it, but I'm just really admiring it. I love this character. I, I think Rorschach... Rorschach's definitely one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Probably closer to number three, but still. It's fucking Rorschach. And damn, fucking... Haley did a great job in the fucking movie. I don't know. I really like the movie. I want to see it again tonight. I saw it Thursday at midnight, and I want to see it again tonight in IMAX. I just really liked it. <coughs> And here's Night Owl. God, this is probably one of the best comic book movie adaptions I've ever seen in a movie. The actor was great. I mean, Rorschach was great too, but this actor really portrayed Dan in a really cool way. Um, the figure is a lot more posable than Rorschach. He's got knees that bend. Um, they each come with two pegs. I only put one in, but you could put a, pop a peg in there. His knees bend, his legs bend. Uh, his shoulders can move up and down, like horizontally. You can pull them out and move them around a lot. And the wrists move side to side, which Rorschach's do too. But uh, his arms are more poseable than Rorschach's. And um, and the head moves a lot. I, I try not to move him around too much, you know. 
but uh, this little boomerang comes out. When it comes in the package, you can see the little clear rubber band that goes around it. I'm not taking that off because I'm afraid to lose that motherfucker. And I don't, and you know, it's they're posable statues. And, you know, honestly, most of these are not very posable. You can't do a lot with them. You really can't. They kind of they kind of have this predestined pose, you know, which is the package that you're supposed to kind of leave them in. And I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Leave me some feedback on this uh, Night Owl pose because I'm really trying to, you know, I try to be creative with these even though there's not a whole lot you can do with them. That one I like, but I'm afraid it kind of looks a little silly. You know, and I don't want him posed exactly like Ozymandias. Ozymandias figure is great. Oh, there's my extra Watchmen pin. If you guys have Ares pieces, I'm willing to trade that for an Ares piece. Anyway, uh, here's Ozymandias, or Ozymandango, as I like to call him for no reason. I like the costume adaption. Comic book costume looks pretty fucking fruity, and I don't really like it so much in the comic book. But this uh, movie adaption to this costume is really badass. I really like it. I thought the actor was a really good uh, Ozymandias, too. Uh, I like how the cape is different. Like Just like Night Owl, the left hand has an open grip and the right hand is a fist. See right there, open grip and fist. Okay. There's the pin. And here is the mighty Dr. Manhattan. He's a little, his arms are opposable like Ozymandias and, uh, by the way, Ozymandias and Night Owl have the same capability, posing capabilities. None of these figures have ankle, uh, ankle or foot joints, by the way. And, uh, here's Dr. Manhattan, the variant. I got the variant because I think it should be like this. The flat blue, um, looks too much like the comic book and the rest of the characters are clearly movie figures, you know? So... I thought he was very cool. Uh, biggest, actually, only complaint about... I love how you could take the legs out, you know, and you could have him floating in his godly pose like that. But uh, my only complaint about this figure is that you cannot move his wrists. His wrists are stuck with that open hand. So when you have him standing with his feet, it's like he's trying to... You could set him up like how he's trying to give a group hug. I don't know. <laughs> or like he's begging for food. You know, there's not a whole lot you could do with him besides this awesome godly pose. So just leave him like that, and you're cool, you know? It should, you know, it's not an action figure. It should be, you know, these are these are meant for fucking grown-ass fools. So, you know, leave, just set him up, leave him there, let him collect dust, and just look at them, you know? That's what I'm all about, right? <laughs> okay, so here's Silk Spectre. She looks pretty cool. Like in the movie, they gave her, if you could see it right there, she's got little nipplies, you know, little nipple thingies that stick out like that. Which, you know, is pretty cool, because they did it, uh, well, they gave it to the men, too. Unlike Batman Returns, they just, you know, gave the men fucking nipples, which I thought was fucking gay as hell, and really lame. I'm not using gay as a synonym with lame, I meant that in a homosexual way, but it was also lame. Alright. And the fucking comedian. Sick. This motherfucker's badass. I really like the articulation. Yeah, uh, these are really cool. They even got the uh, the little smiley faces on the gun. I'm sorry if this is moving around a lot. I hope I'm not. Let's see if you can see the smiley face right there on the gun. I believe these are uh, .50 Desert Eagles. And, um, yeah, badass. So, I wish I can get a clear shot of all six of them. I don't want the other two, the classic ones. Damn, this blows. I really like seeing them all lined up like that. Maybe if I can get close to, you know, something like that, you can see the comedian. I'll just do one more view of all of them. Now, each base comes with two pegs. I wish they kind of drew a line in for the mouth so you could see the mouth a little better on him. But each base comes with two pegs and this little clip kind of do doohickey that I have no idea what to do with. So I'll grab that. Now, this thingy, if anybody knows what the hell it is, please let me know. I don't know what it does. I have no fucking clue. Okay, my ten minutes are about up. Thanks a lot, you